We found that patients who had a score of zero were at very low risk, which is very similar to the general population, and those with elevated calcium scores were at increasing risk. Type 1 diabetes is just a different disease process. I think most people who get it are thin, or don't necessarily have hypertension, high cholesterol, metabolic syndrome. So I think a lot of the risk associated with type 2 diabetes is due to a lot of the adjunctive risk factors. might be prudent now that we have data like this and if other cohorts can show that as well that maybe it goes back to saying type 2 diabetes is an automatic qualification for statin therapy and maybe type 1 diabetes can be put in with the general population because that's really what our data suggests.